Welcome back. It's me, Sensei Danielle. So Sensei is in the background right now. We're going to do a lesson plan today on uh, some basics. So I'm going to do a stretch. We're going to lead you through actual full stretch. And then once we're ready, we're going to start off with some basics. So again, remember, we can start off with some knees up just to get warmed up. We've been sitting down for a really long time, doing your homework, I hope. Moms and dads, you guys can do this too. Let's go into some jumping jacks. Ish, me, sun, chi, go, rock, sheesh, hush, ku, and you. Don't have to do a thousand of them. You could do probably 20 or 30 of them. Again, they're a count of 10. And then just do a couple just to warm your legs up. So we're going to do our regular stretches. And this is really the sequence that the stretches will go into. First, you start off going to your left side. Bring your head down. Again, keep your knees straight and you want to count it out. So we're going to count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, shish, hash, ku, ju. Come on up. We're going to switch sides. Bring our head down. Again, lock your knee out and keep it straight and feel that stretch right in the back of the leg. And count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, shish, hash, Ku, ju, and come on up. Now it's not a race, so you don't have to go fast. We want to stretch those muscles. We want the blood to start flowing. We're gonna go straight down to the middle, keep your knees locked again, and then hands down. The further you can press your hands to the floor with your legs locked, the deeper the stretch. And we're gonna count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go. Rook, sheesh, hash, ku, ju. Now bend your legs. As Osensei would say, stretch those legs out. Push your elbows to the walls. Hold it nice and strong. And we're going to count. Ish, ni, san, chi, go. Rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and ju. Now you can come back up or you can stay down. Go into your tiger stretch, one side. And again, we're doing this full stretch for you guys today. Of course, I haven't stretched since you guys have been gone. I miss you guys. And let's count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and ju. And let's switch. Again, keeping that leg nice and locked right here. Try to get your foot all the way to the floor and pull that stretch out. And let's count. Ish, me, sun, chi, go, rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and ju. And up, toes up this time. And you know we love these stretches. Bring your nose to your knee, guys. Nose to your knee. Feel that stretch. And count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and ju. We're going to switch sides last time. Toes up. Bring your nose to your knee. Make it fun. Make it a contest. See who can go the farthest down in your household. And count. Ish, ni, sun, Chi, go, rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and ju. And let's see if we can do splits today. Coming down as far as you can. You want to hold that. You can do a count. You can bring your toes up. Don't sit down. You can do another count. Have a seat. And do another count. So we want to do right to left. Do right to left, stretch the back out, nice and slow. We got a lot of time on our hands, folks. And let's count it out on our left side. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, sheesh, ash, ku, and ju. On the other side, again, you should feel the stretch in the back of your legs, your back, plenty of time. And count. Ish, ni, sun, chi, go, 
rook, sheesh, hush, coup, and zhu. And the last one we're going to do is go forward. Go down as far as you can. Now you all know we can go to sleep like this. You want to stretch those legs out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All the way down. Take a nap. And count. Ish, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sheesh, hash, ku, and you. Come on up. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shaking it off. All right. I think we might be ready for our lesson. Well, Sensei looks like he's ready to teach. So I'm going to bow. Us. Ah, get ready in our ready stance. Well, Sensei, take it away. And let's go. So now we're going to start off with the basics. So as you know, we start off always with our left side. So step forward, left arm lock here. Why ah? So left side. Remember, we start off with our left side. Do not be afraid to key out in your house. Maybe you'll wake somebody up. <laughs> now, coming forward. Rising block. Sheesh. What? Knee. Sun. Inside block. Eesh. What? Knee. Step backwards. Eesh. What? Knee. Now, you notice if I can use that small space, watch this. See? See? If you're in your house and you have a small area, you can still do basics. Okay? Step forward. Stepping punch. Eesh. What? Knee. Step backwards, ish. Knee. Step forward, inside block, ish. What? Knee. Step backwards, ish. What? Knee. Step forward, outside block, ish. What? Knee. Step backwards, ish. Knee. Step forward, knife hand block, ish. What? Knee. Backwards, ish. What? Knee. Now take breath, take breath, take breath. Now. See, in that small space, we didn't have to go that way, we didn't have to go this way, but she did some of the basics. Very easy, very simple. Now, you can have your parents write it down for you and give you a command that you follow. Also, you can teach your parents how to do what we do. Yes? Sir. Very good, all right, let's do it again. Step forward, step back here, way out. What? Front kick, ish. What? Knee. Side kick, ish. What? Knee. <laughs> Getting too close. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to, you don't need a, a full area, but you can do, you can do your basics without actually coming forward. So if, let's say she throws a roundhouse kick, she can kick and bring it right back to where it was. So roundhouse kick, ish. What? And then bring it back. Knee. Sun. And same thing on the other side, okay? So remember, whatever you do on one side, you want to try to do it on the other. You want to try to be equal. You don't be one. You don't want to be walking around like this with one big arm and one dead arm. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Ish. What? Knee. And back knee up. Ish. What? Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring oh, it back. Oh, yes, sir. See, we don't have to go too far. Knee. <laughs> Sun. Now watch. Back knee up. Jab counter punch. Ish. Back knee up. Jab counter. <laughs> Knee. Sun. Switch stance. Why? What? Let's go to the other side. Ish. Knee. Sun. She. And front snap kick. Ish. What? This is a kick that gets everybody. It's a front snap kick. When you hear the word snap, that means you return your leg where you got you had it from. So ish. Yeah, it comes right back. Knee. Switch stance, right? What? Same thing on the other side. Ish. Knee. Sun. Okay, there's one thing out there that a lot of you have trouble with. Double forearm block, inside block. Okay? Your inside block is just one hand. The other hand should be in pistol, so inside block. Ish. Yes, sir. See? One hand out, one hand in. Now, step forward, double forearm block. Sir. Ish. What? Two hands. See, they're both together. That's your double forearm block. When you hear the word double forearm block, this is where you need to be. When you hear the word inside block, it's just one hand. Ish. Inside block. Okay. One hand. Okay? So step forward, double forearm block. Ish. What? Knee. Turn. Down my ground. What? Now, you see, I'm going to utilize this space, just this area right here, using my turnarounds. Okay? So coming forward. Pressing block. Nuketay. Ish. Knee. 
Turn it down like right Flip! And slide right over. See? You don't have enough room. You want to be able to slide over. Uh, try not I'm to trying hit. to stay centered for you guys. <laughs> try, try not to hit anything or anyone. Okay? Now, coming forward. Again, let's do that pressing block loop thing. Eesh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, even says it gets confused sometimes with that. Yes, sir. And knee. Son. Turn down block right. What? Double inside block. Eesh. Double inside block. What? Knee. Turn down block right. What? Do that one again. Double sir. inside block. Eesh. Knee. Double outside block. Eesh. Backwards. Eesh. Knee. Double hammer fist. Now look at the difference between a double outside block and a double hammer fist. You high ranking belts, you know, high ranking belts. Double outside block is high where your shoulders are at. Double hammer fist, eesh. It's lower. See how much lower it is? Okay, knee, sun, forward, upper elbow strike, eesh. What? Knee, side elbow strike, eesh. What? Knee. Sun. Okay. When you are doing your basics, your techniques, make sure you are breathing. For instance, if I'm doing a block, how do I breathe? In, out. So, inside block. Eesh. In, out. Oh, sorry. Wrong leg. Knee. In and out. Any kind of block. Every time you do a block, make sure you breathe in and out. Every time you do a strike, you want to breathe out. <clears throat> Stepping punch. Eesh. What? Just breathe out. Front kick. Eesh. <clears throat> Just breathe out. Front kick from snap kick. Doesn't matter. Side kick. Roundhouse kick. Hook kick. Back roundhouse. Spinning back roundhouse. Jump back roundhouse. Tornado kick. Those are all strikes. You breathe out. Yes? Yes, sir. Yeah, mate. Plus. 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 Remember, when you're doing your basics, you don't need a lot of room. All you need to do is make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. Okay? You can even write it down on a piece of paper and do maybe 10 basics and do them one at a time, one at a time. Be consistent. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Okay? So, from... Sensei Danielle and O Sensei, make sure you stay safe. Follow along. We're going to keep posting these videos for you guys. We're going to try to get you back in here as quickly as we can. O Sensei out. <laughs>